Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, and welcome back to one of my car side chats, if you will. And um, I have no idea if I've actually talked about this topic recently or not, but uh, somebody reached out to me recently and said, Hey, Chris, can you kind of tackle this? And so I thought, yes, absolutely. Um, and this video is all about uh, buying and selling, okay? Um, Back in the old days, whenever you were buying and selling, you would list things in the newspaper or whatever, and then eventually you turn to eBay. Well, eBay has all of these fees associated, so people jack up the prices, right? So I I always advise to don't look at eBay first. You know, look at eBay as kind of like your last resort. Um, but there are sometimes really good examples or good, um, you know, good prices out there where people will do best offer and that sort of thing. And it does never hurt to like throw a best offer out there. Um, but I personally recommend the uh, the Facebook groups, okay? Now, with anything in life, there is good and bad. There is duality there, right? There are a lot of scammers. There are a lot of people that will try to scam you on eBay, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want to be, right? Okay, so you have to be careful. Now, here are some of my steps, my tips, if you will, my tips and tricks um, to help you along the way of the buying, especially the buying process. But also these are tips for you if you want to sell as well, okay? So I'm, of course, going to promote my own Facebook group, Batman Statue Collector Buy, Sell, Trade, okay? Um, it is uh, moderated by me and other people that I trust. And so hopefully, you know, we try to keep things legit. Uh, we try to, you know, not have customs in the groups and things like that. We try to um, stay to the license thing. Sometimes things slip through, but you know, we try to try to be fair there Okay, so here's the thing if you go in this group or other groups There's a lot of other groups on Facebook as well um, That are buy sell trade groups if you go and You message somebody and say hey, I see that you're selling X statue and I'm interested in buying it Would you take this? Okay, now fair offers I think are fine. Sometimes it'll say in the description, nope, you can't, uh, you know, no offers accepted or, you know, no uh, reductions accepted. You know, this is the final price. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. Um, again, this is just me uh, freewheeling and dealing here, guys, uh, you know, freestyling. So, um, so sometimes they'll let you offer a price, sometimes not. Long way of saying that, right? Um, and you a lot of times might want to ask a question or you might want to ask for photos right and what some people started doing is they would take photos of other people's statues and post them as that's what's for sale okay you see that on ebay too because people don't want to take to the trouble of taking their own photographs so they steal other people's photographs okay so we'll borrow um Sometimes the boxes are boxed up, so you can't see the, the item anyway. Um, but if you're somebody that says, hey, I would like more information, I want to know the condition of the statue, hopefully they are truthful and list, it, list anything that's wrong. You know, if it's still mint or perfect, great. If it's got this break or this break, I super glued this, you know, make sure if, if you're the seller that you let everybody know that, okay? And I know that our natural instinct is to say, don't, don't, don't even talk about it because people might not want to buy it then. But you're being deceptive. <clears throat> Tell what's wrong with the statue, okay? So you do that. Um, you list what's wrong with it, whatever. So as a buyer, the number one thing, the number one thing that I would recommend that you do is ask for a video, okay? Because again, getting back to my, my point, is that people would start using other people's photos or other things, and then you would say, hey, can you put my name and today's date in front of the photo? Well, then they would Photoshop today's date and name in the fake photo scam if somebody is not willing to take a video I would not buy from them it's like well I don't have a camera I don't have this bullcrap everybody has a phone everybody has a phone and if you don't have a phone you know somebody with a phone I make all of my videos on my phone okay I edit my videos on my phone. I can do all kinds of stuff on my phone. You can take a video of your thousand dollar statue. Don't tell me you don't have a phone. I would recommend they film it. 
they say, you know, if, if I'm buying, my name's Chris. So they say, hey, Chris, this is the statue. This is what's wrong with it. Um, you know, this is the area that, you know, we might not be loving because there was a break there. Um, this is today's date. This is my name. And then they send it to me. If they do that, I am way more trusting to buy that statue. That, that, I, that I, I mean, it still could end up being a scam. Then you get to the payment. You know, a lot of people accept Venmo or PayPal, things like that. Well, me personally, I use PayPal. And a lot of people in the community know me. So I ask that they send friends and family. Um, I have a pretty good reputation here in the community. I have a pretty good reputation on eBay. Um, pretty good reputation on YouTube, right? And so I, you know, most people that buy from me trust me. And I say, if not, please do friends and family, but add the 4% fee. Some people include that fee, some people don't, um, but it's an expense that's off the price of the statue. So I've had people buy from me friends and family, most people do, but I've also had people um, do um, you know, goods and services. I'm not sure if I said goods and services earlier. I meant goods and services with the 4% fee if I didn't say that right. So uh, if you want to insure and be protected then pay the four percent fee that's fine right you're already spending a lot of money on the statue anyway but it does give you peace of mind but again if you know the person use friends and family but again the number one tip i have is to take a video send it to the person that you're selling it to if you are the seller if you're the buyer ask for a video um, you can also ask for references in the facebook group um, i really recommend that as well um, again, if people aren't willing to vouch for you, um, or you know you're not you're not seeing a lot of positive feedback, maybe it's time to move on to the next seller. Uh, it, it, it just not risk it. I've seen too many people in the community burned by scams, by transactions not going well, and you better believe that people are going to screenshot your conversations and then post them everywhere on Facebook. So keep that in mind as well. What you say in your private conversations, they not private. They can absolutely be public. So it goes back to what I say all the time is be kind to one another, be good, support each other in the community, have a good experience because that is what we are hoping for. You were wanting to sell a statue. Somebody else is wanting to buy that statue in good condition hopefully in perfect condition. Yes, breaks do sometimes happen in shipping. That part sucks. Get insurance. Me personally, I use PirateShip.com. Uh, it uh, is a lot cheaper than going directly through the websites. Um, it uses UPS, USPS, and others. Um, I use it all the time. I've had very, very good experiences. You can add, exp uh, add signature delivery. You can add insurance. Um, so again, that's maybe just another helpful tip. If you are selling, use Pirate Ship. It will reduce the cost of shipping for your customer, your buyer, um, which might make them want to buy it more from you. If you're only charging $20 shipping versus $160 shipping, I'm going to buy from that guy, <laughs> you know? So I always try to save uh, the buyer as much money as possible, um, whether it's our, you know, our YouTube um, rogues gallery auctions or if I'm just selling a statue or CGC or something. I always use pirate ship. Okay. So anyway, hopefully some of these things help. This little uh, informational video, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Again, these are just me freestyling here. So uh, again, if you have questions, if you have things you want me to talk about, let me know. Um, again, this was just something that another collector wanted me to talk about um, because of their recent experiences. So again, hopefully they helped out. A little absent-minded today. The other things on my mind. Got stuff I'm working on. But uh, I'm going to keep delivering as much content to you guys as I can. I cannot thank you guys enough for uh, always being here to listen. And, uh, again, I always talk about how the, the community is real small. And, uh, you know, we kind of have to be there for each other because not everybody understands what we do um, with this whole collecting thing. And so uh, I can't thank you enough for being part of the community. Um, it just means the world to me. I love each and every one of you. Continue to be good to one, of, uh, one another. Be positive, guys. Continue to put positivity out in the world. We need it. And I feel like if we continue to do that, 
it'll influence other people to be positive as well and we can start turning things around anyway thank you for watching happy collecting see you in the back cave bye everybody Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.